Hello everyone and welcome to another video. First apologies about the delay and also my voice. <laughs> I was a bit ill but I'm okay now and I thought it was a good time to try a new toy line as I have a few other ponies and projects in the UV chamber. And I found these two cute and creepy <laughs> Cabbage Patch kids and thought yeah we can make them feel a little better. So this is going to be quite a short restoration but I hope you still enjoy the glow up. And if you are not very familiar with these dolls like I was, then we'll both learn a few new things. Oh my god, those eyes. Anyway, uh, we're going to do some cleaning and painting first, so let's get started. Our first step, as usual, is going to be some hot water and soap and a deep clean. Let's go. Alright, so the cleaning helped, no doubt, <laughs> but we need to do a couple more things before we move on to painting. The first one would be some acetone, because acetone is really good for removing some of the stains, although of course we can't use it on any of the painted areas, it would only work for the skin. So we're going to do that first and then we're going to retro bright the dolls using uh, hydrogen peroxide and some UV light. This second part of the process is really good for removing bacteria that still lives on the doll, so it disinfects everything, but also it improves the color because it gets rid of some of that yellowing, like sun fading yellowing, and makes the whites very white, if that makes sense. <laughs> so we will do that next. Like I said, this is quite a simple project, something a little different and it doesn't really need any more steps, I think, at this point. All we need to do now is just repaint some of the areas that were chipped. In some cases, I'm going to try to fill the little like holes. In others, I'm going to repaint whole areas because, as you know, my color matching abilities <laughs> are not excellent yet. But before you scream at me in horror, let me <laughs> tell you that I only paid five pounds for both of these dolls because they are very common. But let's talk a little more about them. Who are they? Who are these creepy babies? <laughs> From what I understand, their full name is Cabbage Patch Kids Posable Figures. That's what their box said. <laughs> but if you're looking for some now, you might find them as figurines. And in fact, there seems to be lots of people on Etsy uh, that enjoy turning them into Christmas ornaments. They look quite nice. Uh, they have the right size for it and they're relatively light. So yeah, that's 
not a bad idea. Now the one you are seeing now, I know it's called uh, football player or number 55. And the other one we'll see after this one, I think it might be called Premier with Baby Doll, although I'm not sure because it was very difficult to find images for, for that model. If you are more familiar with them, if you are a coverage patch expert, first, sorry I call them creepy, <laughs> and second, please let me know if you if I got the names right. If you don't know the line at all, then I can tell you that Cabbage Patch Kids was a line of cloth dolls. Uh, they actually had plastic heads and they were first produced in 1982. They were incredibly popular, very successful. And the, the people that created them and the factory, they have a very interesting story that I recommend you read about. And you might have seen these dolls in movies and TV shows because, as I said, they were very, very popular. They were everywhere. <laughs> And in fact, I love saying in fact and then throwing facts around. <laughs> uh, last year they were introduced into the Toy Hall of Fame from the Strong National Museum of Play. So it's kind of a shame that because there are so many of these, they are not considered very valuable. <laughs> I know some of them are, but I mean these little ones, uh, you can find them really easily online. Well, some of the models. But um, I don't know, the more I read about this, the more I like them. I think this happens with all of the toy lines I try. And it would be interesting to maybe talk a little more about this, uh, this line. So let me know if you would like to know more. And please let me know if you like or collect these uh, dolls. Um, please tell me about your collection. I'm very interested. But anyway, uh, my throat is hurting a lot, so I will <laughs> leave you with the painting. I will finish this doll, we will do the other doll, and I will see you when they are both ready to talk about the results. <laughs>
Okay, so here are our figurines before. They weren't too bad, but they could use some TLC. And here are our babies after. Not gonna lie, the light here is helping <laughs> because you can see some of the paint, especially on the white uh, onesie. But let's quickly see the before again. They were a bit, I don't know, they made me a little sad that someone probably really loved this and they were a bit chipped and forgotten, you know. I think that's why I love restoring toys because the the more damaged they are, the more love they have received. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the process and you try your own mini restorations and I will see you in the next one. Um, have a great week. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.